Welcome back to They Did What, your source for the internet's craziest and most entertaining stories where I go over them, analyze them, and on occasion, make fun of them. Today, I'm going to go over a story titled, I did, my, I did What My Mom Told Me To Do and Got Revenge. And guys, this story is coming from the perspective of a young woman. She's in her, it looks like early 20s, college age. And she tells the story about how she was raised by truly the mother from hell. And this mother from hell got full custody of her and her sister when they were little kids. And since that time, just it was just one thing after another. And she, as she'll mention here, suspects that the mother has serious mental issues and things like that. But trust me, it's no excuse. But on top of all that through her childhood and making her feel like she was worth nothing and all that, the mother was always receiving child support from the father to take care of her and her sister and put money away for college and all that. But the mother never used it for them. She used it for herself. And you're going to see a little bit more as I get into this. But once college comes around, it really gets bad. And ultimately, you're going to see that uh, with the help of her father, things are turned around. Really, karma definitely strikes this, this mother here. And believe me, as I go through this, you're going to hate her guts because she is trash. And, you're going to, and many of you guys may have experience where you've known people like this that take full advantage of everybody. They're a leech and they're liars. And it's good to hear people like that get what they deserve. So... A little long, but it's a good story. Starts off, it says, Disclaimer, this story is not meant to be little, single moms, nor people with mental illness. And yes, I do love my mom, but this was a story about how things can come back to bite you. Don't make any excuses for her or anything like that. You do not need to explain, believe me, after you hear this story. So, just backstory here. My parents divorced when I was just in kindergarten, so no, no more than six years old. My mom got full custody of us and she suffered from mental illness. I believe she has borderline personality disorder and she's also a typical narcissistic parent. Anyway, ever since the divorce, she would always tell us how it was not her fault we didn't have enough money for things and blame my dad. Example, if there was nothing to eat for breakfast and we complained like small children do when they are hungry, she snapped, it's your father's fault, so cry to him. So here you go, right from the get-go, the first paragraph of the story, what her mom was like. Little kids, if you're hungry, blame your dad. If, no food in the house? How does she, how is she the character, how, is, how does she get full custody of the kids, right? And meanwhile, as you know, money's being sent to her. I just learned never to complain and do without and spend my childhood taking care of her. My sister and I were trained from when I was about 8 years old and my sister 10 to come right home from school and do her homework and clean the house and take care of ourselves. Don't ask mom to do dinner, make it yourself. And all the chores so mom doesn't have to do anything. It sounds bizarre, but we thought that was normal as well as being hit and told on a daily basis that we were worthless. I, at this point, I don't think anybody listening to this is going to feel bad with the whole uh, my mom has mental illness. Tough crap. Nobody that behaves in this way should be raising kids. And again, knowing that she actually has money, even though what she's doing here, right? Terrible. I don't have a bleeding heart. I don't feel bad for people like this. Screw them. It got worse my senior year of high school. My grandma died a few months before that summer. My mom quit her job and blew through the money. My grandma left her before the summer was over. This was close to $75,000 back in 2000. She refused to get another job and kept coming up with excuses not to work, like, I need a break, get off my back, I hurt my leg, etc. While she was going out drinking with her friend and acting like a carefree teenager. So I spent my senior year working hard at school, at my part-time job after school, and pretty much taking care of an overgrown child who refused to work or help out. Anytime a utility shut off or there was no food left in the house, she just griped, you have a job, why can't you pay for it? If I brought up the fact that my dad sent her child support, she would just complain that she had my sister's tuition, which I later learned was BS. She would flaunt my child support check and laugh and refer to it as mommy's paycheck. Let me tell you guys, if I was a kid, 18 years old, when I was a legal adult, I would move out and have nothing to do with her. A lot of people get sucked into so much drama and BS because they feel bad for family. Look, anybody's taking advantage of you and mistreats you and wears you down to nothing and tries to keep you at their level, they're not worth having in your life. A lot of people don't have the strength to do this, even as adults, but you got to cut people out of your life that, that try to bring you down. Because believe me, there are people in this world that will try to bring you down, even your family. If I brought up the fact that my dad sent her child support... Oh, my bad. I read that. 
Uh, flash forward to when I was about to choose a college, and my mom kept, kept belly aching about the cost, and of course had zero money saved in a college fund. I couldn't afford a private university since I was only offered a partial scholarship, so I decided to go to a reasonably priced and still highly regarded state university. My freshman year, I was pretty much able to swing the cost of tuition and room and board. She says I lived on campus. Since last year of high school, I, I filed my taxes in the uh, FAFSA, FAFSA, as soon as my W-2s came in, so I had a decent amount of grants. During my first year of college, I almost became unable to receive financial aid for my second year of college. Why? My W-2s were mailed to my, mo my home address, and my mom, being the caring and supportive mother that she was, shredded them and threw them in the trash. Ah, gee, thanks, Mom. Really trying to help me out here to be, uh, become something in this world. I found out because my sister was home that weekend and saw it. My mom denied, and when I came home from spring break and pressed her for it, she lied and said her friend that had them. Her friend was a CPA. My sister called my mom on this bluff by calling the friend who said she did not have any of our tax information. She was very concerned and told me and my sister to, re to request a duplicate W-2s and had them sent home and she will have my mom send them over to me. Yeah, sure. My mom was pissed that we had checked with her friend and called her out in her bluff, but true to her word, her friend did my taxes for me and my FAFSA. I had offered to pay her and at least babysit for her, but she told me it was okay. I think she knew my mom was mentally unstable and felt sorry for me and my sister. Shame. At this point, I learned that my mom had not been helping with my sister at all with tuition, like she claimed, and my sister had mentioned it to my dad, who had called her out and demanded to know where the child support was going to. My mom insisted he wasn't paying her enough money, and that's why she couldn't help us out. During my second year of college, my W-2s were once again sent home, and my mom once again, accidentally, she put accidentally in quotes, threw them in the trash. I had to request duplicate W-2s for my summer job, not just once, but twice, because she kept throwing them in the trash. I filed my tax return late that year, late, late that year, and as a result, my FAPSA was filed late, so I wasn't able to get the full amount I was receiving before. Gee, thanks, Mom. Anytime I complained to her about money or no food in the house, it was complained to your father. Well, the summer before my third year, I was burned out on my mom's BS. I was working full-time for the summer and saving as much as I could, but she was refusing to help, help me out at all while I was home with food and, or anything. I get a parent trying to make their kids tough and give them chores growing up and get them to work and put away their own money to become responsible adults. I get that part of it, but th that's not this. She is just a piece of garbage, quite honest, on so many levels. She was pissed that instead of paying the phone bill so she could make long-distance calls to her online friends and spend all day in chat rooms, she says this was back when we had dial-up, I had the audacity to spend my hard-earned money on a cell phone and pay that bill myself. She told everyone I should just drop out because I wasn't applying myself hard enough. And she says I was in the honors program. And she would play martyr with all her friends about how it's so hard when you have kids in college and they eat, your, eat you out of house and home and come to you for money. Which, of course, is complete BS. At the end of the summer, I had saved $1,000, but the school wouldn't let me move into the dorms unless I paid 50% up front, which was about $10,000. I didn't know what to do, as all summer, the university had told me I was fine, and then on moving day, told me I couldn't move into the dorm. I called my dad in a panic, and he spoke to someone who agreed, who agreed to give me 24 hours. I moved in, and the next day, my dad showed up first thing with a coffee and a donut for me and told me not to worry. He was going to fix this once and for all. We went to the office, we went from office to office on campus, and he co-signed a loan for me, which he paid. He later paid off for me. And then he paid the balance of my tuition for the loan, of what the loan didn't cover. So dad's a good guy. You know, he's, he's reliable. He's not going to freak out or have a meltdown. He's going to take care of things. But look at this poor guy's been bled dry by his ex-wife, right? I don't know why this girl at 18 years old... One didn't go spend her summers living with her dad, not with her crazy mother, but the old mother-daughter issues, like she can loathe her mom, but still somehow feel responsible for her. <clears throat> he then took me out to lunch and told me the truth. My mom never helped my sister with tuition. My sister graduated the summer before my junior year of college. My sister later confirmed this, but, no, but was not surprised my mom had lied. 
My dad had co-signed the loan to help my sister out, which he later paid off. And my sister was able to get a scholarship and do a co-op to pay for her last two years. He also advised me that my mom was not so poorly off. As part of the divorce settlement, he had to pay the mortgage and property taxes on our house. And even though my sister was now out of her own, he was still paying her the same amount of child support, about $2,000 a month, despite the fact that I was living on campus for 75% of the year and my mom was not giving me a dime. So all this money is going to mom. And never once has she given really anything to the kids and making them feel terrible, making them feel like they're worthless, all that, right? Anybody here at this point feel bad for mom? Feel feel sorry for her because her so-called mental disorders and all that? Uh-uh. No way. Not a bleeding heart here. Never, never has been, never, I've never been, never will. Well, you're gonna see karma's about to get mom. He says. He says, just to give you clarification, my tuition and room board before I financial aid kicked in was about 15 grand a year, so she could have easily helped me out with the school since after financial aid kicked in, when I was able to get it, the balance was usually $6,000. I was hurt to think that my mom was just living off my child support and constantly making me feel guilty for wanting anything or for not being able to, to cater to her in every, every whim. She would get pissed that I, would, I wouldn't come home on weekends to help her clean the house that I was not living in. I thought about how bad she made me feel growing up and made me feel worthless when, in fact, had it not been for me or my sister, she would not have had a roof over her head after the divorce. Totally understandable for her to feel bad about this whole situation. Just, I can't believe it and all that, but just, there are people in this world that are pure garbage. And her mother was garbage. The, the trick is that she needs to get herself away from her mother. Permanently. He asked me to grant him access to my account so he could prove my mom was not paying for college and that, that I was. He asked me how I would feel if he took care of my college instead of paying my mom child support. Sounded good to me. He even told me I could spend my breaks at his house instead of my mom's. Good. Stay with dad. Get as far away from your crazy mother as possible. She's garbage. She's going to do nothing to try to bring you down. Believe me, she does not want her daughter or daughters to succeed. I called my mom and told her that day that my dad had taken care of the issue and she had no remorse. She told me it was my, for my, it was my own fault for not planning my finances better and for pissing away my money all summer. I just played it dumb and said she was right, but pointed out I had done what she told me to do and complained to my dad. Right. She told you to complain to the dad and that's exactly what you did. A month later, my mom called up pissed. My dad had spoken with the courts and there was going to be a hearing in the divorce case. My dad had proven that my mom had not been paying for my or nor my sister's tuition for college and that was the very reason my dad was obligated to pay child support till I was done college. Since I was living on campus, it didn't make sense to pay her child support when I was not living at home most of the year and she was given and she hadn't given me one penny. My dad told the judge he would gladly pay for me to finish college, but he was not going to pay my mom any more child support, nor pay the mortgage on the house. Good. If my mom didn't want to take over the mortgage, they could sell the house and I could live with him over my breaks. Yes. Stay with dad, not mom. My mom was freaking out over this and called me selfish. Of course she would. As she said in the beginning of this story, she's a narcissist. I just reminded her that my tuition must cost a lot more than what she got in child support since she was never, never, never able to help me with the cost of school. She kept laying guilt trips on me about how I was selfish because she didn't go to college right, out of, right after high school and how she never had the, the four carefree years of college. I point out to her that she had not worked since my grandma died about three years ago and that I was working and going to school at the same time while she got to live carefree life. Good for this girl for standing up for herself. She pretty much ripped me a new one at that point. She tried to get me, tried to get back at my dad for not paying utilities on the house to make it seem like she needed the money. She then told me that the, ele the electric and water were now shut off, so if I wanted to come home for winter break, I needed to help her out. And she had moved in with her boyfriend at his condo. So now she's going to freeload off some other guy. Total leech, total moocher. There's always some dumb guy out there that a gal can take advantage of. No shortage unbelievable i just told her that i would miss her but that i would just go to my dad's for the winter break i really hope she said that to placate her not to actually she actually thinks she'll miss her she was pissed and cried about how selfish i was for not wanting to come home for christmas 
Side note, the Christmas before, my present was throwing out many of my personal belongings. Why? My mom was pissed off at me that I didn't want to come home one weekend to help her clean because because to get home, I had to take two buses, two trains, spend $20 one way, and wait for her to hopefully remember to pick me up at the train, which was about a whole 20-minute drive for her after I had traveled four to five hours because I had finals. And I told her I would help clean for the holidays once she once I came home from winter break. Her response, she took all my things, threw them in boxes, and threw them out in the front lawn. Most of my things were destroyed by being left in the rain, and I, and I, and I threw away most of them. She's a piece of work. Well, no, she's not a piece of work. She's a piece of something else. I told my mom that I would come and visit her over my winter break once she got the utilities turned on. I told my dad what was going on, and he said... He and, my new st- he and my stepmom and my half-brother and sister were thrilled I was going to stay with them for winter break. And he can get me a job in his office as well for winter break. Awesome. Again, I don't know why she has been with Dad all along. He also called my mom and reminded her that the child sport had not stopped. And they were going to list the house in a few months. I thought it had stopped. Maybe this is a typo. And they were going to list the house in a few months, so what was this nonsense about the utilities being shut off? She was she was pissed, but magically came up with the money to turn them back on. Huh, imagine that. That spring, my dad took officially my dad took officially by the court, took over my college tuition, and even made sure I got my full financial aid since he had picked up the W-2s for me. My mom lost her child support and was told by the judge she had better cooperate with the sale of the house and keep up with the utility bills so it would sell. Her boyfriend moved in with her till the house sold and she moved to another time zone. Yeah, she moved the guy in so he could pay for the bills and support her. The real kicker, it was cheaper for my dad to pay college costs than to pay her child support. To summarize, my mom abused and exploited me and I got my revenge by my causing her to lose her child support and rent and free rent by doing what she told me to do for years. Complain to my father. No regrets. <laughs> that is awesome. Good, Great job. Now she's going to post an update as to what's gone on since all this. She says, uh, some of you have asked, are things better now? Yeah, sure. Depends on what you mean. I'm not as close to her as I am my father and stepmom, whom I've grown closer to after college and still close to this day, but I still have a relationship with her. When she says relationship, she has it in quotes, relationship. She should have not no relationship with her. Her sister and her should be done with her for life. I don't care how, what issues she may have. She's garbage. She d- brings nothing but turmoil to this girl's life since she was a kid. Why do you think she and dad split up? Go, ha, dad. Your dad's your family. Your stepmom could be your family, not not this witch, okay? It is what it is. not your job to fix her. It's not your job to take care of her. It's amazing to me how people get roped in by family members. We talk, we talk, but I have learned not to trust her because she will let me down. There's a surprise. She says, I, a couple years ago, we were supposed to meet for my birthday, and she stood me up. Now I don't include her at all when I plan my birthday or holidays. And some have asked how she treated us growing up. She wasn't 100% bad, but her but her bad moments were pretty bad. Granted, I have met a lot of people who had it worse, so I try to remember that. Yeah, there's always somebody that has things worse, but still, she was awful to you. So, and 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 how she is now and was with you in college and all the lying going on and the taking your money that was supposed to be for you and what she put you through and don't even believe her crap saying I was just trying to make you strong. No. No way. After college, she was trying to pull the same pity cards she had when I was in school. This time, she's trying to convince me to move from New Jersey to Tennessee. And uh, she had moved because my last year of college to a different time zone and didn't even bother to tell me or my sister. She just took off. I liked the area and told her I would see if I can find a job and would consider taking her up on her offer to live in her guest room temporarily. Is this girl out of her mind? Move to the area and live, live with her mom temporarily? Clearly, this girl has, has the, mo- the you know mommy issues. Okay, like she knows she's garbage, but she can't walk away from her, and it's just gonna let her ruin her life. Unbelievable. She right away started laying me on a guilt trip, and I hung up. She then called my sister and complained about how I have a daughter that doesn't want to take care of me. My sister and I both laugh about that. She wasn't even fifty, perfectly healthy, and refused to work. No way was I going to move in and take care of her. Okay, good. You came to your senses. 
She pretty much spent most of my adult life in, in and out of mental hospitals and trying to convince us that either we want to live with her or we want her to live with us. She moved into my grandparents' old house in Philly. They passed away years ago, didn't keep it up with the repairs, and had to sell it for less than what she felt it was worth. She wound up staying in various relatives' guest rooms and coming up with excuses not to work and finally wore, at her, wore her welcome out so many people's houses. She wound up in the hospital and then in a shelter and now lives in subsidized housing. So now good, hardworking taxpayers have to pay for her ass. It's a cute apartment and it's and it's it's like a loft style, but guess what? She still complains of how bad she has it and how no one wants to take her in. Well, gee, I wonder why. Thanks again for all the kind words, upvotes, and messages. <clears throat> I know I grew up in less than a perfect situation, but I always remind myself that there are many others who have it worse. I at least have my father and my sister, and that's going to get that, and that and that going through something like that has taught me to be strong and rely on myself. Well, this girl certainly has learned to be strong and rely on herself. Okay, and that, okay, that's a silver lining here, but the mom's garbage. It's been proven one thing after the other. I'd cut her out of life completely. Have nothing to do with her. Okay, I don't care about the mental illnesses or stuff like that. I'm not a bleeding heart. And many people listen to this, I'm sure, are not bleeding hearts. But if she keeps the mom in her life, well, I'm just going to keep bringing her down. And God forbid one day this girl gets married and has kids, and the mother's going to want to see those kids. She'll screw them up too. Mark my words. But anyhow, guys, crazy story, but I had a good ending there. Some payback for a complete leech. Someone that takes advantage of other people. I, I can't stand those types of people. So, anyway, guys, that is it for today. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. And guys, you ever come up with a, find a good story like me to share, by all means, email it to me. If it works out, I'll definitely do it in a future video. And be sure to like the video, share with your friends, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.